the next message is saying the restoration and spiritual awakening that court is releasing upon our country Zimbabwe will also touch the Jewish people and Israel. The pure spirit of worship which will go out from Zimbabwe to God in heaven will be like the sound of a shofar. It will not go up in vain. Angels shall sound their trumpets in acknowledgement of human worship of God, which has genuineness. God says, I will tie Israel and Zimbabwe with a court of faith, love, and commitment. I see the hands of the Lord God tie Israel to Zimbabwe with a strong umbilical court of faith, love, and devotion to God Almighty. What God is doing in Zimbabwe and the shakings that God will visit upon the nation of Israel are in preparation for the reformation or transformation of the hearts of men so that we begin as human beings to seek and to pursue the will of God for our lives in preparation for the eternity that lies ahead of us. In the end, it shall be clear that those who were slaves for 400 years and those who have been destined to foolishness and suffering for nearly 40 years have one destiny in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. These are messages which are very spiritual, which are very deep. Amen. But God is releasing goodness. And then he's re releasing goodness because of these messages. The Spirit of God says planners in Zimbabwe will be surprised by the extent to which the God factor will definitely interfere with their human plans between now and mid next year. Between now and mid next year, people will be planning their things and God will be kicking and doing his own things as well. I see that human beings will be planning, even at a political level, whatever they will be planning, God will interfere with that. Because God wants to, he's shaping the future of this country in line with the message that I've just spoken. Hallelujah. Zimbabwe is destined for greater things. Not because I'm a Zimbabwean am I saying that. That's why now if you check the Angangas that are moving around the provinces that are trying to revive the very same strongholds that we are destroying through prayer. So the spirit of, yes, the Angangas, they are carrying something like a Zimbabwe bed. I mean, these Angangas, they are doing rituals. They move around provinces doing, trying to revive demonic strongholds which we are bringing down. So the spirit of God is saying, is saying, I must invite intercessors in all the provinces of this country to pull down and destroy those strongholds that they are trying to revive. Because these are the strongholds that are responsible for all of this stagnation and suffering that you have seen in the past nearly 40 years. But the spirit of God is saying, I am doing a quick work of my deliverance in Zimbabwe. <laughs> Hallelujah. So God will disturb human plans. Human beings will plan whatever they want to plan. They can gather in their thousands. But it is the plan of God which will prevail. Man, man plans, but God is God who disposes. Hallelujah. Let us confess and say man plans. Man plans. But God disposes. But God disposes. Yes. For, for it to be seen that all nations are nations under God. And they are nations which belong to God. Say I belong to God. I belong to God. Say we belong to God. We belong to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So God is involved in shaping things in this country. And the kind of acceleration that you will see between now and January, it will be very confusing even to analysts. I thank God I'm not an analyst. I'm a preacher. I'm an analyst in another sphere, but I don't analyze politics. Because the politics of this country will be very confusing very soon. Why? Because of the court factor. Say the court factor. The court factor. Say the court factor. the court factor. Because sometimes as human beings, we plan as if court does not exist. That's why our things sometimes they, they fail. But uh, because God is interested and we are nearing the climax of the history of this country, as we have known it, and because we are nearing that climax, I see a lot of confusing things which will be ha happening parallel to each other. And then there is a, a strong voice.
that has been speaking upon our country for quite some time. Yes, a strong voice. Say a strong voice. Say a strong voice. I saw that voice extinguished. I'm speaking in parables. Let us pray for the grace of God. Let us rise up and thank God. Father, we thank you for these messages as we conclude them. We thank you for your spirit and your presence.